With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry, and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question, and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hi everyone. Let's take a question here. The question is the percentage composition of sodium phosphate as determined by analysis is forty-two point one percent sodium, eighteen point nine percent phosphorus, and thirty-nine percent oxygen. So here we have to so here we have to find the empirical formula of the compound. Work to two decimal places. Okay, so empirical formula. Okay, em empirical formula is the simplest empirical formula. Okay, it is the simplest ratio. Is the simplest ratio of atoms of atoms present in a compound of atoms present in a compound. Okay. So here we are given with the percentage. Here we are given with the percentage compositions. Okay. So what we will do? Let let the molar mass of the compound be hundred grams. Of the compound be hundred grams. Okay. If the molar mass, the complete molar mass of the compound is hundred grams. So here we have the three atoms. Okay. Here we have three atoms. That is N A, sodium, phosphorus, and oxygen. Okay, so here we are given that it has forty two point one percent of sodium. It means the molar mass. If the molar mass of compound is hundred gram, it has forty two point one grams of sodium. It has forty two point one gram of sodium, and phosphorus is eighteen point nine grams. Okay, and oxygen is thirty nine grams. Okay. Right, so here we are also given with their atomic masses, right? So let's write down their atomic masses also. Atomic mass for sodium atomic mass is twenty three, phosphorus thirty one, oxygen sixteen. Okay, now we will calculate their molar ratio. We will calculate the molar ratio. So here molar ratio. Here now we have given mass, we have atomic mass, so we can calculate the molar ratio. It will be forty two point one point twenty three. Okay, first for for phosphorus it will be eighteen point nine by thirty one. For oxygen it will be thirty nine by sixteen. Now we have to take up to two decimal. So here it will be one point eight three. Here zero point six zero. Here two point four three. Okay. Now we will calculate the simplest whole number ratio. We will calculate the simplest whole number ratio. Simplest. Let's write down only simplest ratio. Okay. Why we are calculating this? Because empirical formula is the simplest ratio of atoms. Okay. So here, how we will calculate simplest ratio? That molar ratio divided by the smallest one. So here it will be one point eight three. Upon zero point six zero zero point six zero divided by zero point six zero two point four three divided by zero point six zero. So here we have the answers. That is here we have three point zero five approximately is equal to three. Here we have one and here we have four point zero five that we will take is equal to four. Now here we have taken three and four because it is the whole number ratio. It is the whole number. Ratio. Okay, that's why we have taken it three and it four. So now we can write the empirical formula, right? So empirical formula is E F that is is equal to the here we have three atoms that is sodium ratio phosphorus ratio oxygen. So it is three ratio one ratio four, right? So now if we write the empirical formula, it is is equal to N A three. N A three P O four. It is our required answer. This is the empirical formula of the compound. Okay, so here our answer is find the empirical formula. We have found that that is N A three P O four. This is our required answer. Thank you. For class six to twelve, ITJ and NEET level, trusted by more than five crore students. Download Doubt and App today.